What's up, my lunatics? Welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time, my name is Anastasia Luna and welcome to YouTube. All right, guys, today, super excited, we are going to be watching Baby Metal Headbanger. So I'm aware of this band. Um, I know there are like two or three girls. I know this started very, very early. Like, I, I feel like I've seen video of them being like children. Uh, I'm sure I, I heard that the lead singer is like 22-ish now. I'm not, I'm not sure I might be wrong, but they're older right now. Um, I know the song Give Me Chocolate. I heard that song. Uh, so interesting super excited to see this band because i haven't really dabbed into them uh much so super excited to see this band because i know only like one song but first guys if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out and if you like the channel itself please subscribe also guys as you know i'm a rock singer myself All the links to all my videos, my Spotify, my iTunes, my merch, my music videos is gonna be in the description of this video, so please check it out, let me know what you think, and let's go! Baby Metal Headbanger. I'm sure I'm gonna see some choreography and coordinated um, costumes. Very morbid. <laughs> the crowd is fucking awesome. All right, let me stop right here. Uh, I guess we're going into the course. Wow. Um, I know they do use a lot of choreography and it's very like cardio. Um, I, I don't know how... I know the girls sing too, right? I feel like I see the mics on them. I, I, I have no idea how somebody can jump and they j literally jump the entire freaking show. Like, I have no idea how somebody can jump and still sing. Um, I don't know if they use a little bit of like pre-recorded track uh, as far as the vocals just help them out because it, it's just to, to sing like to sing and dance like this non-stop. It's just it's just crazy. Um, the lead singer is absolutely fantastic. I love the intensity of her. Um, I feel like they're already like sweaty there, so I wonder if it's like um like somewhere in the middle of to the t towards the end of the show. Um, the energy is absolutely fantastic. I mean, uh, when I saw Game of Chocolate, I'm like. Like what? What is this? Like this is you. You can love love ba uh, love bites. You can you can love baby metal. You can hate baby metal. But um, you know the, the fact that the the energy that they bring on stage and the amount of just like wow factor is absolutely fantastic. Um, I love that choreography is very coordinated around the lead singer and she stops when she sings because she has to. Um, she does jump between the times when she has to sing and then everything else is kind of around her. It's very strat nicely strategically placed. Um, I love the crowd participation. I, I'm assuming this is um, in Japan because I see something um, written in Japanese, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know. Don't crucify me for that. I might be wrong. Um, I love crowd participation, but uh, Japanese uh, metal scene actually I was talking about um, this with somebody today. Japanese metal scene is absolutely fantastic. I really want to go to Japan and check it out. I would move to Japan to sing in Japanese band. Um, I love the red. I love the red um, skirt. I love the red on stage. The intensity of the song is fantastic. Um, I also am a little bit confused as of how the stage is placed. It kind of looks like it's a little bit of a 
kind of like a circus kind of thing, you know, when the arena is in the middle and the people are around it. I'm not sure if it's like this, but it's a definitely very interesting uh, position and a very interesting shape of the stage. So let's go. Uh, I guess we're going into the chorus. I mean, uh, there's the intensity is, is already like right here. I don't know how much higher that can go with it, but it's baby metal. Let's go. She's still jumping and singing. <laughs> wow. She has a Freddie Mercury moment with that thing. <laughs> oh wow Rest baby rest <laughs> Stop before before this part because I'm sure this is the oh oop, my phone is dying it's okay um I, I'm I'm sure um they're gonna open up again first of all I've never seen a stage like this and I have no idea how much money is put into the production of this live show I'm literally moving to Japan tomorrow I can't I'm not a uh, uh. I literally, I, I would, if there's a band in Japan that needs a blue-eyed Russian, I swear to God, I would move to Japan. This is just, the, the wow. From Love Bites to Baby Metal, everything is thought through. Literally, the, the costumes, the song, the musicians, the stage, the presence, the choreography, every single thing. It's, it's choreographed, like, at the edge of their life. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I don't know why I haven't like started listening to Baby Metal more. Maybe because I didn't see that live. Um, Give me chocolate. I just heard the song. Uh, they're definitely a full package. You have to see them to really appreciate what Baby Metal is. Huge fan. Huge fan. After this song, oh my god. I, I, I think I'm gonna cheat on Nightwish for like two weeks and just listen to Baby Metal. I don't know. I, I, I know I said that choreography is like strategically placed around her and around the song so she can rest but she still kept bouncing and still kept singing she does have a minute or so in a song where she can just stand and at the same time she stands and i still feel this energy from her it's also a very very nicely shot video so the director and the, the camera person camera people um did a fantastic job on this I don't know where to even like begin or start or stop talking about this. This is absolutely phenomenal performance and not just by the actual, uh, m not by just by members of the band. Everything about this perform performance is perfect, thought through, choreographed, directed, strategically placed. It's a fantastic piece of art. So let's go into, I guess this is the bridge.
the wall. She's still bouncing. The stage. Who built the stage? <laughs> wow i don't know why i never i never like dabbed heavily into them because like i said i, I did hear that one song uh give me chocolate and then uh when i went to see avatar i think avatar was opening for them but i was there mainly for avatar and then nobody knew baby metal so i was just kind of like disregarded the, the, the rest of the show and just saw avatar um I, I, I do remember that it sounded and looked very interesting to me because when I saw girls coming on stage and started dancing, I was like, oh, that's that's interesting. But uh, I, I, I just, I don't know, I was there for Avatar, I was like bad on the stage. I should have stayed for this whole show. Uh, I, I, wow, I've never, I just, I don't know. And I know they've been doing this for a very long time. Like I remember like the, the Give Me Chocolate, I think it was like an, an old song, right? I don't even know where to start with this. The, who built the stage? I, I, I wonder, it kind of looks like a, like a UFC or like a boxing match, you know, with a thing in the middle. I wonder if it's like used for something else because the amount of thought that was put into the show, like I said, like literally every single second of every single thing is thought through like the amount of people that were involved in this the amount of talent that evolved with this on top of the fact that band members apparently uh don't stop how can you dance like this throughout the whole show how can you keep singing i don't know how much singing uh two other girls do i know there I, I see there are mics on them but like do they actually sing sing or they just kind of kind of like scream it out and maybe like ad lib here and there um and the lead singer, I don't know her name, uh, she keeps singing and keeps bouncing, keeps bouncing. Yes, she does stop here and there, but I don't even know. This is, like, not a human kind of pace. Like, she probably does, like, 10 miles every single day just to, like, have this cardio in her system. Fantastic. Fantastic. And Avatar, please tour with Baby Metal again, because this time, like, I will actually, like, pay attention to Baby Metal. Bad Anastasia. Fantastic. Oh my god, I don't even know what else to say. Alright guys, my name is Anastasia Luna. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you like the channel itself, please subscribe. Also guys, as you know, I'm a rock singer myself. And if you want to check out my music, my merch store, my Spotify, my iTunes, everything is going to be in the description of this video. So check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. And like always, stay tuned to Sound Metal.